Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the St. Cloud State Husky Hockey Weekend Preview. I'm Taylor Budge. Thanks for tuning in. In this week's episode, we are highlighting the new athletic training room here at the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center, and I'm joined here now with Brian DeMaine, who is the hockey trainer for the men's and women's teams. Now, Brian, what are all the new amenities that are part of this new training room here? Uh, with the new training room, we, uh, we still have the ultrasound and stim machines like uh, a lot of the athletic training rooms do, but uh, the biggest upgrades we received were the uh, polar plunge or the cold whirlpool, and then also uh, a warm tub, which has an underwater treadmill in it. Now with all these new amenities, how does it help the athletes perform better overall? Uh, the great thing is with the cold tub, uh, the athletes are able to, to get in the pool right after practice. You can get three or four in at a time uh, to help them recover for the next day's practice or game. And then uh, with the warm tub, you're, it helps you get the rehab process going um, after an injury a little sooner to get the range of motion and strength going. And then we also use it as a tool to uh, before practice and games to just to get them in there to get them warmed up. All right, thank you very much, Brian. Now headed into some hockey action from this past weekend, the St. Cloud State men's hockey team was facing off against new conference rival Miami of Ohio. Saturday night, St. Cloud was trailing by one after the first period, and Garrett Milan, his first game back of the season, was able to tie the game up at one apiece after the Ryan Papa and Joe Raycamp assists. David Morley picked up his first goal of the season as well in the third period. It would be the eventual game winner after the Jared Raby assist. Hussies were able to skate away with a 2-1 victory, splitting the series with the Red Hawks. Taking a look at the USCHO.com rankings, University of Minnesota still sits at number one in the country even after suffering their first loss to Notre Dame this past weekend. St. Cloud State still remains at number three and Miami of Ohio drops to number eight. The Huskies will be packing their bags this weekend and heading south to take on non-conference rival University of Alabama in Huntsville. The Chargers have yet to pick up their first win of the season. One player that is making a standout though is senior Alex Allen. He currently leads the team with three goals on the season. He'll be going up against St. Cloud State's freshman Ryan Papa who is continuing to climb his way up in the team rankings. Papa currently has two goals and two assists on the year. Taking a look at the goalie matchups for this weekend, Ryan Farragut continuing to dominate as he is ranked 5th in the NCHC with a .931 save percentage and is currently ranked 1st for wins in the conference. Don't be surprised to see any of the other Husky goalies starting as well this weekend as they are taking on a non-conference opponent, but that will be decided later in the week. They'll be going up against Carmine Guerrero of the Chargers, who currently has a .914 save percentage. Also a note this weekend, senior captain Nick Dowd will be returning to his hometown in Huntsville. After nearly snapping the University of Minnesota's 60-game win streak, the St. Cloud State women's hockey team will be back in action this weekend as they take the weekend off of conference play and head west to Vail, Colorado to take part in the Vail Tournament. The St. Cloud State football team will also be at home this weekend as they take on MSU Moorhead in their final regular season game. Kickoff for that is set for 1 p.m. Headed indoors, the St. Cloud State men's basketball team will be hosting the SESU Classic this weekend and will play St. John's University on Saturday. The women's basketball team will also be in action taking on Valley City State on Sunday afternoon. Now fast forward two weeks ahead, the men's and women's hockey team will be back here at the Brooks Center. The men's will be taking on Colorado College and the women will be taking on RPI. Tickets for all these games can be purchased 24 hours a day at SESUtickets.com. That wraps up this week's edition. I'm Taylor Budge. We'll catch you next week.